Good morning, beautiful people. Welcome back to You Live Everything in Wonder and welcome back to Sicily. My name is Luca, this is my wife Sara, and this beautiful little lady is our daughter Luce. Yeah, we recently bought this uh, 1.5 hectares olive grove uh, with about 150 trees, uh, 115 olive trees. Uh, and it was a dream of ours to have a beautiful property with a beautiful sea view, with the size that allowed us to do so many projects. Uh, and what is really incredible that a lot of these trees are so ancient, so old. They told us that at least one of them is 1000 year old. These olive trees are still producing olives. So last week we started the harvest, our first harvest, with the help of some friends. We were able to collect the olives and within 12 hours we were able to bring the olives to the olive mill and to press the olives and to make our first extra virgin olive oil, our first Evo. And we have some images about that day and was it is still very emotional when you see like they called the extra virgin olive oil the the green gold and it's amazing because all the process it's it's complicated you think that everything is easy but then when you start doing it you start understanding what's going on all the steps that you need to learn how to yeah. do it and this year if you think that this land was abandoned has been abandoned for over 20 years it's incredible how powerful the olive trees are. Here you can see Luca when he arrived at the olive mill. The olive mill is uh, about 10 kilometers from our land, so it's very close. And we book an appointment because it is the season where everybody is pressing the olives, so you have to, to have your, your spot booked if you want to, to press the olives in time. Beautiful people, I'm uh, here at the mill. Nunzio and I, we are unloading all of the olives. Uh, still have two bags uh, over there and uh, basically we'll be able to fill up uh, these two. We will see how many kilos uh, and then we will see how many liters and how many kilos of oil we will be doing uh, with uh, today's harvest. Okay, all of these olives uh, were loaded on our little truck, uh, little four-wheel drive. Super excited. Let's wait. Uh, Let's see how many kilos, how many kilos. After harvesting the olives are weight and then there is a blower that is blowing away all the leaves, so it's separating the leaves from the olives and then uh, the olives are subjected to an abundant washing in water. This process is carried out with a special washing machine with a constant flow of water that invests the olives. The crushing system of the milled olives is the most ancient instrument. Conceptually, 
derived from the millstones used since the Greek age. Today, however, many mills use the most modern hammer crushers, which break the olives by pushing them violently against a metal grid. Then after pressing the olive paste, it uh, is subjected to the kneading operation, which consists of a continuous and slow mixing of the dough. This phase, the kneading phase, is an essential moment for the extraction of the olive from the olive paste. In fact, the kneading allows uh, the olive paste to reach the optimal temperature in which the natural enzymes present are able to fully activate. Scarico means uh, that now the olives are leaving uh, here, they are going in there. Here are the olives uh, mixed with water, and from here it goes there, and here they separate uh, the water and the oil. So the oil comes out uh, and the water goes in another place. Then there is the extraction phase that consists in the separation of the oil from the solid fraction. And this phase can be performed from pressure, centrifugation or percolation. On this side uh, is the water, on the other side is the oil. Seventy kilos because three kilos are the two containers. Fifteen percent. Quindici quaranta, quindi quasi quindici mesi. Okay. First year, first harvest. Then at the end of everything, you will just see your green gold that is flowing in your tanks and this is the most rewarding moment because you you see the final product si amore where do you want to go I need to go and play and then they see how many liters how many kilos you produce and they will give you the rate see you want to sit down here okay down so luce did you did you like all the process of collecting <laughs> olive oil? Ciao! Ciao! And so I was saying this is the most rewarding moment. Uh, when Luca was at the olive mill, he called me and said we produce uh, 70 liters, 70 kilos of olive uh, oil, extra virgin olive oil, that is 76 liters. And I was in tears. You are thinking this is this is real now. It's not only in our dreams. It's becoming reality, yeah. and it's very rewarding. The olive trees are super resilient. Uh, it's amazing. Uh, they need uh, really a low amount of water, so they grow even in the desert, uh, and uh, they are super strong. Uh, it's really nice uh, to learn uh, all the behind the scenes uh, of. Uh, how much does it take, how much work does it take to um, produce oil, so cleaning the, the land uh, to keep the land safe because here we have a lot of wildfires, it's a dry place, uh, that's why olive uh, trees grow in dry places because they don't need a, a lot of water but uh, there is the risk uh, of uh, burning all the property so you need to keep it clean uh, then there is all the process of harvesting the olives uh, that uh, we thought uh, uh, like a romantic uh, harvesting uh, uh, process but it's really a hard job uh, and uh, then there is all the process of uh, cutting the trees uh, the right size and in the right way in order to keep them uh, low in order to 
be able to harvest the olives and at the same time keep them productive uh, but um, also at the same time keep them uh, healthy so it's everything that we are learning and uh, it, it will take years uh, in order to get these uh, trees and this property 100% uh, but uh, this is the beginning of a beautiful adventure so last Sunday we started the harvest and next Sunday when this video will be live we'll do our second day of harvest yeah and uh, we will finish like it will be the last uh, harvesting day we will finish all the trees uh, and it will also be our second anniversary wedding anniversary yes uh, 511 uh, uh, yes 511 our favorite numbers and this year we can celebrate together this is uh, amazing really important yes and um, in the past days we came here on the land together with the help of the amazing David from the UK he is staying here two weeks and he's helping us a lot. a lot we were able to start checking all the nets we bought some new nets um, some bigger some smaller but we bought like about 10 of them and our idea is to get rid of the old ones because they are full of holes the one that the ones that we can repair we will do it but the ones that are too old you know now the nets are getting better they are producing better nets so we don't want to have like something that we are not using yeah this year we are learning so much and we are learning that uh, having the right tools uh, can save you so much time and energy so we want to be efficient we will try to get the, the right tools uh, the right nets uh, everything that can make make our lives easier and be more productive more efficient uh, faster and uh, and enjoy more the process because if you are using tools that makes you waste a lot of time then uh, it, it gets frustrating and you don't enjoy so much than the the work you're doing we came here on the land we start checking the nets and putting already some nets uh, underneath the trees because we just realized that the trees that we have on this side so we started from this side the trees that we have on this side the olives are more mature more ripe so they are starting to be black we want to save time on sunday when we arrive here we can start collecting the olives and just be faster than the last time but the rate uh, of this year was not so high but 15.5 percent is amazing for our first year especially compared to other people that are doing this every year we know that this land could give us a lot uh, we can give a lot to this land so it will be a love story <laughs> we can wait to to write another page of this of this beautiful book david and luca did an amazing job they just checked the nets and was a long 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 job I'm charging the battery for this uh, electric uh, how do you call it? Electric season? Uh, um, secateur. It's like a, we call it secateurs. Secateurs. Yeah. It, it, it'll, it'll cut the wooden branches. It'll cut the wooden branches of the tree. So yeah. what we can now do is trim around the bottom of the olive trees yeah. uh, to make it much easier to put the, the nets around the bottom of the trees. We have two left, right? Or two or three two, trees? Two, yeah, yes. There's a couple left down there, but yeah. we need to trim the base of the tree to okay. allow to get the nets much closer to the tree. I can see some flowers here. Can you pick them? Yeah. Okay. Lucia and I, we are cooking. We are preparing soup for lunch. So we have some fennel. We have some flowers. We have some nepitella. This is smells like mint. We are here in our olive grove. We need to get ready for the second day of harvest. We are here with, with David. He will stay here two weeks helping us with many, many, many things on the land, on the house. So uh, it's, it's beautiful to have some help. We are so thankful for that. 
and the car is just fantastic. Luca can use it all over the land. They are just driving downhill. So luckily our property is not so steep. This is one of the things that we love about it. We have these terraces, they are perfect for Lucha for us and we love it here. It's windy today, but it's so peaceful. I can't wait to have our place here. So there are a few trees that we still need to clean uh, underneath uh, in order to put the nests uh, and uh, collect them. But uh, this is the oldest tree on our property, over 1000 years old. And there is the wasps. Uh, Hornets. David, come here and help me to yeah, tell David, this because David. it's so difficult to do it in, yeah, okay. in English. Okay, okay, what we have here is one of the oldest trees on the olive grove. This one we believe is around about a thousand years old. But what we have to do today is we have to tackle a hornet's nest which is located close to the, the base of the trunk of the tree. And we have wow. to kill the hornets first. And when we've done that, we will then be able to clear the bottom of the tree, which will then allow us to put the nets out to catch the olives. What we have to use is a, is a spray. This okay. is the spray that we have here. And yeah. this is for, this spray here is specifically for both wasps and for hornets as well. Okay, yeah, Luca, how do you... Here, Calabroni. It's a uh, hornet in, in Italian, a vespe is what? wasps, yeah. And uh, this goes up to six meters. Uh, so basically from where I'm standing, I can already spray over there okay. and be safe and uh, not be in danger. So did you locate already the nest? Yes, yes. We found one nest, we believe. We, what we've done also is looked right the way around the tree as well. Okay. To see just in case there was another nest, but we only okay. we believe there is just the one nest. So guys, Please be careful. Well, we will. Okay, we now will. I will just go a little bit away with Luce. We will. Okay, just we'll once. We're ready to run now. We're ready to run now. Okay. <laughs> Don't stay too close. Run. Did you see something? Yeah, we are spray just inside the hole. So they were all stuck inside. Not, nothing's coming out. Just in case. A little bit more. Better safe than sorry. Right, better safe than sorry. Yes, always. Could be returned. Yeah. yeah. So, there. Let's leave it there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, let's focus on the other trees uh, and then uh, after a few hours we will check uh, what's going on there. Because now some uh, are returning to the yeah. tree and they find uh, that we destroyed the, the nest. Okay. Down, Mama. Down, Mama. Okay. So, like this is perfect. Uh, we could probably put a few sticks. Uh, yeah. Yeah, because they're starting to move, wouldn't they? Just with yeah. the wind. But these are all wild olives branches. Yes, we need to remove them at the bottom. So if we are able to remove them, you see here, yeah. you just cut it like this. You see? Okay. As if you leave a, a little branch like this yes. from here, it will spread. It will regrow back. Yeah, so it's better to cut them as lower as you can. And usually you have to do this before the harvest. Yes. We couldn't make it this year. So, Just two or three yeah. were left. So here, Sarah. So yeah. Here. See. Okay, you see I removed that one. Yeah. Right there. With this is making life a lot easier. <laughs> it's so fast and it's very, it's a very powerful tool as well. Fantastic, and isn't it? Uh, very easy. It makes light work of what we're trying to do. 
Nice. You have superpowers, David. <laughs> now, we, now we have superpowers. <laughs> now we can move faster. Which is good, which is good. Because there is a lot to do today as well. Yeah. We have a lot to do. Busy day, like always. A busy day, absolutely. But a good day. And it's, we've got fantastic weather as well, which is superb. Yeah. So it's a, it's a good day. When uh, it will not be uh, windy and it will not be the fire season, uh, like uh, fire danger season, we will burn all of these uh, branches. Uh, Let on. me see the tree. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Nice job. Mom. 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 Nice job. Mom. Job. Mom. <laughs> Papà! 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 Ok, andiamo. Papà! Siamo tanti, amore, siamo tanti. Thank you, Mama. Are you repairing the holes? Mm -hmm. In the meantime, Lucia is tasting the oranges. They are not ripe enough, but she loves them <laughs> anyways. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Good job. Very natural. Do you like them, Lucha? Mm. I love Papa. Do you want to give it to Papa? No, Papa is coming, it's tasting. Okay, let's give it first to Daddy La. So taste it David. Papa. Papa. It is fantastic. Yeah. A beautiful flavour, very refreshing and absolutely full of juice as well. Orange juice. Yeah, and they're not ready yet. No, Can you imagine? They're beautiful. They're yeah. really fantastic. So happy to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> Papa, now it's your turn. Papa. Do you want more, Lucha? Si. Si? Che buona. Com'è? Deliziosa. <ride> Grazie, amore. Che pizza. Let me see. What's that? Pasta. Pasta. Mm -hmm. Yeah, bow. Bow? Yeah, bow. It's pushing a bow. Hmm? Ciao mamma! Ciao! Lili. Ciao mamma! Ciao! Wow! Uh, bom, bom. <laughs> bom.
Fire. So sad. There are really old uh, olive trees uh, right there. So to see that this happening, it's really sad uh, because uh, you can see it on the trees. Yes, there. you can see, you the, can trees see the trees burning. But the, the, the trees are alive. Yes. Individual trees are burning. No, it's starting to rain, but it's not enough. It's not enough to turn it off. It's painful. It's yeah, painful. very painful. And it's, it is uh, always uh, a reminder for us. Uh, it's, it would be a nightmare to see our property like this. Yeah. So we, we are trying also to convince the neighbors near to our property to keep the land clean because uh, even if our land is clean, but then the neighbor is not clean and it starts a fire, then the fire can arrive uh, to our trees and damage our trees as well. Yeah. Especially when it's windy. And here is, uh, we are on an island, uh, it's always windy. And uh, our tanks, uh, 50 liters uh, Acciaio Inox uh, stainless steel tanks uh, arrived. And uh, now we will clean it. We will nice. wash it and uh, we will be ready to um, put our uh, Evo inside. Uh, we also have this little faucet thing that we can uh, use Papa. to fill up Papa. some bottles. Papa. Lucia is already super interested in all of this. Okay, so let's wash it so we can put our oil inside. Uh, and we can taste it, finally. Finally, we will taste Papa. our oil, Papa. Lucia. Yeah. Papa. Tolilo. 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 Want to remove also that one? Yeah. Uno, due. Tutto. Tolilo. Bello, amore. L'olio. We arrive at our house and we are preparing the tanks. So these are the plastic tanks. These are just temporary. For now, we will keep the tanks inside the house. As soon as our basement will be ready and clean, we, we can use it also to store the, the, the oil. And we will set up a place, a storage, uh, just for the oil. Yeah. Ooh, the smell is so good, guys. We have a new entry for the house. The table we were looking for is finally here. Luca and David, they went close to, in the middle, between here and Catania, to pick up this beautiful half moon table. And what is unique about this table is that it's a half moon, but it will become a full round table. Okay. And then we just open it. Yeah. <laughs> Did you like it, Lucia? Nice. 
imagine having lunch here and more with this with this view. Wow. Can you see? This is the result with the chairs. Mm -hmm. oh, che bello quel tavolo con quelle sedie Ti piace? Yes. <laughs> sì Ok guys And now we have to taste our no, olive oil yeah? We need to taste it Senti il tavolo L'olio? Do you want to taste the oil, Luce? Mamma, mi sì? vado! Hai lavato le mani? Sì, lavato le mani. Basta, mamma! Basta? <laughs> sit down here, sit down here. Pronti? Guardiamo cosa fa la mamma. Guarda, 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 guarda cosa fa la mamma. Oh, uh, papà, you ready? Two, Two three. three. We can wait to be able to let you taste our Evo. Yeah, we received so many comments about that and questions about that if we will be just a little accident with Lucha. <laughs> if we will be able to sell our extra virgin olive oil and the answer is yes. We just need to organize everything because the shipping will be too expensive and in the US uh, there is the Drug and Food Administration office. Yeah. It's complicated to import yes. to US, it's complicated to export from Europe. But if you, and then we need to study everything about the packaging, the, the label, the brand. the brand, the bottles, but we will be selling the extra virgin olive oil. As soon as we will be ready, there will be a website where you can pre-order the extra virgin olive oil. We will let you know everything here, guys, on this platform. And if you are coming to Italy, you can just exactly. come and, uh, and taste it directly on our olive oil. From growth. our tank. Yes. <laughs> Down, down, right down. The extra virgin olive oil is fantastic. Yes. We cannot believe it that we, we did it. We did it. And let's see how it goes like the next tranche. But the first yeah. time was pretty good. Yeah, how many kilos of olives? 455 kilos of olives and 70 kilos of oil. Yes, so 76 liters. Perfect, uh, and Perfect. Uh, we can wait uh, to do the second half. Uh, who knows if it will be more or less? Uh, we will know. We will let you know yeah. in the next episode because uh, today, Sunday for you, yeah. so in a few days for us, uh, we'll be finishing yes. the second. Uh, Probably it will be a little bit more because the olives on that side are more black or more ripe, more mature. Yes, so. We will see, we will let you know in the, in the next episode, we will come back to the house. So next episode will be about the renovation of the house, we need to start the plumbing, the electric stuff, everything, so it will be nice to be back in our home. Yeah. So guys, we hope you enjoyed today's episode. If so, please share to us, uh, smashing the thumbs up button. Hit the notification bell and please consider subscribing to this YouTube channel if you haven't done already. We love you, we appreciate you, thank you for coming along with us and stay with us. Today was a very, also last week was a very emotional uh, uh, video for us. Thank you for all your messages. And this one, being able to, to see, to taste, to make our first extra virgin olive oil is just a dream come true. Yes, it's time to make our dreams come true. We will see you next Sunday. Remember, la vita è bella. Life is beautiful.
And love always wins. L'amore vince sempre. <ride> Manda bacio amore. Di ciao. Manda, fai ciao ciao. Ciao ciao. ciao. Com'è l'olio? Com'è l'olio? È buono? È buono? Mm. Mm. <ride> buono. È buono. Mangiamo allora, ancora? La no? pizza? Com'è la pizza? È buono. È buono. E il gelato? E il gelato com'è? Buono. Buono. Ciao a tutti, people. See you Ciao. soon. Ciao. 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 Ciao a tutti. Ciao a tutti. Ciao. Tutta? Mi le metti ancora? Ok. Ciao! Ciao! Cosa ho da papà? C'è papà? With David? Sì. What are they doing? Very Sicilian style, Luce. Very Italian style. La bambola. La bambola. Where is the bambola? Nana. She's sleeping? Nana? Oh. And Luce, can you tell me something? So, who is coming on Saturday? La? Chi? Pizza. La pizza? Do you want to eat pizza? No, no one is coming on Sunday, on Saturday. Are you happy? The no, no. arriva di là. She's coming from di là, from that side. Yeah. No, no. where is Nonna? La? In the trees. <laughs>